Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. This video is going to be a little bit different than my usual content, but it still fits under my general channel umbrella. I think it is something that everyone should be aware of, but too many people fall victim to, and that is toxic relationships, and not just with significant others. And I'm using the word toxic here very loosely. Now, science actually confirms what I am sure that we've all suspected, basically, and that is that they're bad for you. But uh, just how bad might actually surprise you, and what it takes to push you to that level of bad may also be a surprise. This is a good education for everyone. Even if you've not had a romantic relationship, or even if you don't want one, this may still very likely affect you. Let's start with the general results. This cohort study, which looked at data from 9,875 men and women between the ages of 36 and 52, over the course of 11 years, concluded that stressful social relations are associated with increased mortality risk amongst middle-aged men and women. Men, and those who were out of work, were especially vulnerable. And God forbid you're both a man and out of work, but let's be more specific. People with a significant other or children who demanded a lot of them, or a significant other or children whom these people were very worried about, were more likely to die than those who were in a better situation. Seriously, 50 to 100% more likely to die. Those are really shitty odds. But the negative consequences of conflict were even worse than demands. And this was the case regardless if it was involving a significant other, children, other family members, or even your fucking neighbors. Yeah, your goddamn neighbors. It's almost like you're surrounded by assholes. Conflictive relationships led to a significant increase in the likelihood of dying. So now, I ask, how many of you that are watching this are currently in both the demanding and or worrisome and conflictive relationship of some sort? If you are, according to this research, you are really getting fucked. And I don't mean proper fucked, to quote Tommy from the film Snatch. Just some food for thought. The results also show that men are far more vulnerable than women when it came to demanding relationships. To quote the researchers, In this study, we found that men were especially vulnerable to frequent worries and demands from their partner, contradicting early findings suggesting that women were more vulnerable to stressful social relations, but in line with others which suggest that men respond to stressors with increased levels of cortisol, which may increase their risk of adverse health outcomes. And guys, keep in mind that raised cortisol can also lower your testosterone, raise your estrogen, catabolize your hard-earned muscle tissue, increase your fat fat storage, uh, fuck up your sleep, etc. So drop a crazy bitch like a bad habit. There is a lot at stake. It is worth noting that having a job that provides you with a steady income appears to protect against the fatal effects of conflict. Though I didn't see any clarification as to whether a stressful job would confer the same benefits or just make matters worse. I'm leaning towards the latter. The researchers added, Skills in handling worries and demands from close social relations as well as conflict management within couples and families and also in local communities may be considered important strategies for reducing premature deaths. Frankly, I just advise you to get the fuck away from toxic relationships. Save yourself the time and expense of counseling, which may or may not even work in some cases, especially in the case of women who have personality or mental disorders. And when it comes to your significant other, you need to have enough self respect respect and confidence to drop someone who's just no good for you and find someone else who is, even if it hurts uh, to have to let them go, because they're literally killing you. And I mean that literally. And this is one reason why I love conservative women. Lefties, especially progressives, are often nutty as fuck. Just saying. And I bet the MIG toe in my audience, if I have any, are sporting a shit-eating grin right about now, but I want to make it clear that I do not support MGTOW, that is M-G-T-O-W. In fact, I feel that MGTOW is damaging Western culture much in the same way that third wave feminism is, but that's another topic entirely. Anyhow, do share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, give this video a like and a share to help spread the good word, and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell buttons to keep on top of my content updates. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.